So as far as practicing goes, Nate, whenever you can, you know, get into a sand trap, I know it's not often that you're necessarily playing out of them, but being able to hit these shots consistently can really help decrease your scores. Absolutely. Especially down here in South Florida with Absolutely. these higher face bunkers. So get out and just work on some of the things that we worked on. Okay. Put an alignment stick in there. Of course. Other than that, you know, keep working on our full swing, putting, we'll put it all together. So Excellent. Nate, here at, we're sitting at 240, hitting into this green we talked about earlier, OB left and right. What right. are your thoughts? What are you imagining and seeing yourself? So, I, I, I get up to my ball. Okay. Uh, when I, when it, but right before I address it, I want to know an exact target. So, knowing that there's OB right and OB left, those four green side bunkers, two on the left, one on the right, and then one short. Uh -huh. What I am trying to find out and trying to accurately see is how close can I land the ball in front of the green? Because okay. I know that if I'm hitting a four iron or a three iron, I can't land the ball in the green, it's gonna stop. Right. So I will try to pinpoint exactly where I wanna aim, land the ball there, and have it roll those, what, 10 to 20 yards that it probably will roll out with my three or four iron. Right. All right, Nate, so after a good drive down the middle here on the par four, we've got about 160 yards in. Yeah. Kind of talk me through what you're looking at, kind of trying to imagine here. Kind Absolutely. Of what danger there is up there. So knowing on this hole, uh, the danger that's on the left with the water, along with the green side bunker that's going to be on the left side, but the pin being on the middle to right, I know that with my shot shape with it being a draw, I'm going to probably aim right side of the green, maybe even a little bit farther right. Um, just knowing that if I land on the right side of the green, I'm going to have a spin left. Yep. And I want to take out all the danger and uh, the penalty area that uh, I could get into. All right, let's go ahead and hit that shot. Aim it a little bit right in the ground. It's an average result. Not quite what we're looking for um, off that last swing. But we left ourselves a pretty good spot to get up and down. We weren't in the penalty area or in the bunker. So talk me through now what you're looking at with this, this kind of shot to spin. Knowing that this is my third shot, and I really want to get up and down from my par here, um, I, I counted I have about five to six paces to the pin from where the fringe ends. So I know that I'm going to try to probably play a bump and run. Okay. I'm try to land it probably in the fringe and let it roll out those those six paces and uh, leave you with a gimme putt. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit it. All right. swing here. We have about 180 yards in now. Um, we've got water all along the left hand side. Kind of go ahead and walk me through your thought process yeah, no, with absolutely. this shot into a second shot into a par 5 here. So knowing that uh, that I have that 180 uh, distance, I'm going to probably play it about 175 knowing that the wind's on my back. Uh, water's going to be green side left. Um, it actually extends all the way to the uh, pretty, I'd probably say about the middle of the green. So with the pin being in the middle of the green, I know that Pin high left is actually in the, in the water. Uh, we have a green side bunker up on the right that's just past it. Uh, great spot to miss if you do miss. So I'll probably have that same shot shape where I'm going to aim right at that bunker and have a hopefully you know that five to eight yard draw. Uh, if it doesn't draw as much, that's all right because I'll be either on the green short or I'll be in that bunker. Perfect. Let's go ahead and execute the shot. Okay. That's just that nice little tight draw off that bunker. That's perfect. That's right what we talked about. And like you said, it ended up pin high on the right side. Yeah. I think that's a perfect shot. We got about 20 feet for eagle here. Yeah, absolutely. very nice shot. Thank you.